So we're just having a short conversation about my hands that have gone fine. And I've just said that I've had a, a rejuvenation uh, that was faster of with, if you looked at my previous video, that was phenomenally destructive in my hands. As I had announced that, man, this way I am living with my wife and everything is just done. Now to establish my wife and I are amazing today, but we had to go through this burning down process in order to move to the next stage. And what Karen's explaining is a process that is, you fill in the blank, calcination, alchemic. Calcination. Tell, take me through this. Well, it's, it's where you go, you need to burn from ashes pretty much like everything you, you, you know about life, you know about, you, you've got like, it's, it's like a bubble around you that you have created your world about around and, and pretty much usually what makes you feel pretty comfortable in there is, is just that uh, you have uh, a certain amount of things under control. But when your inner power or, or subconsciously or consciously you have made a decision, you want to change something in your life. I want to be a better version of myself or that. That's it. Something's got to change. It starts just uh, small uh, events start unfolding where you go into this really burst of, okay, this is now flames. And for different people, it's different. It can be um, people get a heart attack or, or their loved one dies or your marriage is like just crashed you're like that's it i can't do it anymore this way and, and, and this is right. where it starts like you're burning and, and it hurts and it's just so uncomfortable and you're like questioning everything why is this happening to me what and all this anger that comes out of you and you're like who are you and you just burn burn it's just crazy and this is the, the symbol of shedding the old making space for rebirth and and just embracing the the flames and and just you know saying like all of this i don't know so this is actually this is actually sounds so right amazing. and your hand mirrors that guaranteed whenever somebody is freaking out like that their their uh hands begins to get red spotty gets red first, literally gets red. Uh, blood flows in uh, whatever area that they happen to be angry about, blood flows heavily in there. And that area gets beat red in that region of the hand that you can see some people, it's their, their uh, marriage. And so the area of the heart line, literally this line right here gets beat red. Other people, it's I have a crisis of meaning and this whole thing turns beat red here. Or they get they're battling challenges and they're getting so frustrated. This whole area right here it gets red. And the longer you hold that, you're producing cortisol and you're going into the survival uh, limbic system. And a big saboteur is coming out and you're holding on to this thing and it's and you're almost going through a cathartic process using the saboteur that you you know might have seen in positive intelligence but you're using the shadow side and you're using it to just create change in an almost negative but transformative way yeah. when i can't do this but it's coming with an intention hopefully of a higher self otherwise it's just disgusting. yeah well there is a part actually if if, if, if it's like uh, i would say part of it is very strongly about surrendering because you're burning, which means you're like, you know, when, you know, a paper piece of paper burns, it's surrendering totally to the heat. There's nothing. There's going to yeah. be only ashes uh, from yeah. me. Yeah. So you, you get a, you're like burning just, you know, some chemical substance. That's what, That's exactly it. what happened. You know, I, I literally said the word, I give up. I give up. Oh. I give up. And when I said that, it's like, I'm not going to fight this anymore. 
And I'm not going to push back anymore. And I'm not going to try to do all my positive affirmation and do my exercise. I just basically said, F this and let's go. All right. And at that point, that's the surrender process that you're talking about that ultimately created in a life and a hand that was on fire that I, yeah, as I say, my life, my life with my wife today is better than I've seen it in years, but it's because we went through this, my God, organically, uh, hell fire of a process. If, so those that are going through hell fire processes, how do they know it's not destructive and, and, and versus, uh, something that you observe in the alchemical process is calcination. What is the difference? Is it intention? What is it? I mean, uh, after, well, you, you got to go into surrendering. You got to go into your ego. Ego is going to hate it. You are in a process where nothing is under your control anymore. All these things that you thought were, you start a tiny bit, uh, step by step, start understanding that what I thought was an illusion, what I thought was under my control, or the things that I thought were the way they were, they were illusion. I was living in illusion. So the most important part, instead of, okay, this is illusion, but I want to get it under control and you go and and try to fix it really hard on your own this is not burning into ashes you're not surrendering surrendering in the first stage of alchemy in calcination is that you're gonna say i don't know what's gonna come next i don't know and it's okay yeah now i trust now i trust the divine power in me to show me I've I've been there. There are different calcination processes. We what we can uh, experience during our lifetime. Some of them are really harsh. Some of them are maybe easier a little bit. Where where your life, your higher self, your divine self is, you know, knocking on your shoulder like, well, you thought you had it under control. Remember, <laughs> don't don't think don't think that you've got it under control. Let me show you how the divine can unfold through you when you surrender. So you gotta get just another bam for your ego for a while to get it like, okay, sorry, I forgot it, you know? And some people sometimes have this, you know, a little bit and then a little bit and like, hey, are you listening? And then you get. <laughs> so then when, when people, uh, you know, I've, I've often known intellectually that this was a right thing to do, but I was so afraid to do it. Because of, I don't want to break some eggs to make an omelet. I don't like to break eggs, right? So this, this, uh, uh, this difficulty, I guess the reassurance is that, you know, at through the fire comes to Phoenix, right? But how, you know, when somebody's going through such a, a, a difficult transformation, how do you know that, that what you're going through isn't going to be just destructive? Because we have these concepts like, you know, manage your saboteur and positive intelligence. You know, if you have, you're being controlling, then notice it, try to reduce it, bring empathy, bring your sage, find your higher mind, right? But here it's like, no, we're going right into it, right? So how do you, how do you see the health benefit with, to somebody when they know their experiences and when it's something healthy? Well, I would say it's, um, like you said, like you gotta break the egg <laughs> when you want to make an omelet. Most people are so afraid to break the egg because in the egg there's unknown. You don't know. Maybe there's gonna be like two yellow parts, or maybe not. You know, and and, and it's so because it's a, a totally out of control. But ego only loves the saboteurs. Only love. Uh, control because uh, ego or judge or or uh, this uh, whatever the aspect we can call it yeah is, yeah it's uh it needs to be in control because this way 
it, it thinks that um, I will survive. Yes. Okay. Because ego is only on survival mode. And now when we're going into this unknown, we're, we're going to break the egg and see, you know, we're burning and we don't know what comes out of the burning process. We don't know what comes out from the egg. This is totally going into the void, into the room of infinite possibilities, but also into the room of infinite love. This is where we connect to God first time when we say, I'm giving up. I don't know anything and I don't understand why this is happening to me, but I trust it and I just let everything go. And the moment you say, I got just goosebumps, every time you say, I'm letting it go. Magic is going to start to happen because your mind who is creating your reality from your past, recreating it from the familiar experiences is always trying to hold you in the illusion of you've got everything under control. You're going to survive. And now this is uh, this is awakening process. This is the way to the, the higher self, to the awakening, is that I'm going to say, I know, shh. <laughs> and I'm going to trust my divine self. I'm going to trust God. And I'm going to see. And the more I've been into that for the past two years, in, into the true awakening, very strong process, what I can see that actually there are so many symbols around us. The Bible is full of stories that most people don't, understand they're all symbolic all this alchemy that's been like always there in my life i love mystics i love these stories and it's all now demystifying for me because it's it's actually symbolizing the process what we go through when we are you know connecting to god again so the uh the processes i'm going to share uh, a symbol a symbolic oh. of these yeah. So um, I was, uh, I guess this, if you go through these different areas, this is somebody's, you know, uh, uh, seven, there are seven stages, right? You got the coagulation, you got conjunction over here, you got calcination, you got dissolution. So in terms of what I've gone through, how would you map what I went through in each of these uh, stages? And how do you know when you are in which stage? Well, it's it's a process. I actually have on my website a short description of, of different... Uh, um, well, internet is full of uh, uh, this information if, if you stumble on the, the correct one, but how to... Everybody uh, interprets that differently. And uh, in... I was listening uh, to a lady from a modern mystery school and, and she kept saying that we actually keep falling back anyway. <laughs> we we do a few steps and then we feel, this is like what I said, I've, I've uh, experienced in, in different levels the same calcination many times. Just recently, I actually was so, um, what ego does is it attaches to things because it knows that I've got this under control. I have worked on it. I've put my energy in it and I do this and this and this. And I kind of like still lost the letting everything go. And I was uh, in the point where I said like, okay, I'm going to surrender. I'm going to let everything go because I'm, I'm, I'm building my business. And what uh, information I got, like when you're really intuitive, you know, you just know, you don't hear somebody talking to you, you just know it. And the information was shut your face, uh, shut your website down. And my human mind was like, I've been building this. And I said, I'm going to surrender. Okay, whatever there is, is that the my web page. Sorry to interrupt, just to make sure I'm mapping this right. What stage are you in? Because you went, I'm going to burn it down, calcination. Are you in the disillusion or separation or where are you? I, and help me understand what these stages are. Because I'm not familiar with this language. Oh, yeah, I'm. I'm also uh, in 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 a part of life that is in different stage, and part of life is in uh, uh, in another. Because this this solution 
and and distillation again they're kind of similar but kind of the same and and we we tend to go back and forth in uh, these processes anyway okay well let, but, let so anyway i i had I'll, this. I'll tighten the question a little bit better because this needs to be uh, understood for the people who uh, want to work with you, I suppose, is that if we could stay with my example, right? I went through a burning down process just to understand the, the, the seven stages. And then we can go off on that. Is that if, if while I was burning everything down, I was in calcination, correct? Yes. And then but, there's uh, time for a good cry in dissolution. Okay. That's the dissolution. Where you understand that you have these emotions, you have these things inside you that have been holding you back, that, you know, this human thing that just got so much burnt and you go into working, you're going to turn inwards and say that what happened is for my highest good and I'm going to look into now how can I dissolve all that in in a, in a you know in a human uh, part of of us? So we we go you know like uh, raindrops dissolving a rock over time. It's this solution just going through. Okay, here I'm like like in positive intelligence. It's like okay, here I'm in charge again. Yeah. Now my saboteur came forth and you start going through and then you start understanding, oh, I was triggered by this situation. I wonder what's there in me that triggers that. So you start looking inside. Okay, is there a childhood trauma? Most people have a lot of childhood traumas or they're not also, it's, it's not traumas, but they're just uh, childhood, some emotions that have trapped there. A lot of people feel I'm not enough or, or you know, I have to approve, uh, be approved or, or I have to prove somebody something or, or some uh, these programs that we pretty much run the whole life before we go into that burning. <laughs> and when we burn and then we say, OK, that was something amazing. Now, what can I learn from that? And so you start looking at these programs that you consist to be more free. And it takes crying. It takes guts to go into, look at, oh my goodness, I really, you know, I, I used to be such a positive person and I was telling myself I'm positive. And then I discovered when I was really true to myself, oh my goodness, how much anger I have in me. And I embraced it. I embrace so it's really, really important to understand, start loving myself as I am with all what I have done, with all what I feel. Yeah, I think I uh, I, I moved through that. I don't think I cried so much as I did to go through the surrender and realize, actually, maybe I have a role here and I moved out of this kind of seeing, I had, I had deep insights around through my character, uh, how I contributed to this uh, as any conflict uh, is 80-20, every, at least according to positive intelligence, every conflict is at least 80-20, at least meaning that you're, you're at least 20% of the problem if you don't think that you're none of it. And at that point, I started to realize that there is then that's good news, right? Because that means that if I am 20%, then there is something that I can actually, uh, uh, that I'm contributing to the pattern. And then that's a part of an ego aspect of a, a, a way that I am fixed about, or let's say identified as a, as a way of living that ultimately ulti I had to release. And then yes. we moved, moved to the separation, which was, which is what? What is this thing? <laughs> well, this is when you, had your good cry it's really good if, if you still you know watch a, a, a sad movie or if it's sometimes you can really be a sadomasoist and just find something that is it going to trigger you or not you know and and if you really are clear you're just in really 
possible to be just observer and not take any emotions in. So, and then when you had your good cry uh, and, and seeing all these emotions, okay, I do have these and it's okay and I take it, then you say, I'm going to let it everything go. I'm just all, for example, what I keep telling is like, people are full of their stories, the whole life, they're full of their stories, they, they carry them with them, you know. Some people, like uh, for me, okay, I was a uh, very uh, young age, before the age of seven, around five or six, a dog bit me, and so I can go on my whole life about, oh, I was bit by a dog, and I'm going to be a afraid of dogs my whole life and it's so you know bad and now I'm I'm making myself victim of this story or I'm gonna say I don't want to be afraid of dogs anymore so I'm gonna go through, through this process I'm gonna it's okay it happened it's an experience I'm gonna have my cry if I you know I was holding these emotions in me that it was you know so crazy and then I'm letting it go and I forget about it. All these stories now only come to me when I'm sharing some experience to, you know, make an example. I don't carry my stories with me. I'm free. This is why I fly. Because I don't have these stories that are bringing me down and I'm not full of them. Energy flows through me. And then conjunction. And That's the next stage, right? Ah. Uh, after the solution is yes, separation and then conjunction. <laughs> this is the divine union, yeah. The dance, <laughs> uh, cosmic, cosmic romance, where elements that were apart and you were, were were letting them go, you 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 free yourself from from stuff, and then it's like where you put all this. You still are a human avatar, yeah. Your divine self has this you unfolding the the, the divine plan through you, and you just you know mm, merge them or or just put them into unique essence. So so this is uh, probably pretty much where my alchemist uh, was was born. That I was just letting it flow through me and I said like, okay, yes, I'm a hypnotherapist. Uh, I'm here to, uh, I helped myself and I'm here to support others to go through this process. What can I do? I was totally surrendering because I was clean. And this is how this alchemist, I, it wasn't like, mm, I want a brand name. So what am I gonna be? It just came to me. So I surrendered to, yes, this one alchemist, Karim Palm, it's it's unfolding through me. Right. So it's you felt like kind of a, a new mission, a new sense of purpose, a new identity, uh, and as well totally higher energy, uh, and uh, you're operating on a much uh, higher frequency. At least that's what I feel I am right now, or we are. It's not just. And what's weird is it's not me. It's the life. It's like the whole life went through this, and so my entire life is now going through this, like everybody has just gone through an upgrade, right? And and then it, it, that sounds like I'm happy to stop here. Why do we have to go through these dark imageries? What's next here? We got, uh, what's the one, two, three, four, what's the fifth stage? Yeah, it's fermentation, yeah. <laughs> this is like um, uh, a, a lot of, of spiritual growth takes place where you, I mean, all these stages, they can take 10 years and it can take you go only from one stage to uh, the second stage. And, and then after one year of you go back to the victim, another thing happened and you forgot all about it. And then you start climbing again. And this is like the, 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 the divine play, you know, like uh, Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage and men and women are uh, merely players. Yeah. So this is the divine play and, and sometimes we fall back and, and there's no judgment there. It's, it's okay that this is how we play this game of awakening and being in, in a dream, in an illusion. So are you uh, telling but, me the fermentation side 
is the fact that we regress and go back to trauma again? No, no, no. Well, this is more of this uh, spiritual growth. Now you, you, you might get the same or very similar experiences in your life, but now it's like a test where you can see, do I react the same way? Am I triggered again? Do I need to go to burning again? Or I'm going to say pretty much like be a um, curious uh, anthropologist and say like, oh, my human uh, avatar is having this experience. Okay. Now, okay, my body is feeling this pain. Maybe you're going to have um, some really unpleasant experience with your body. And this is the part where you can say, am I going to know fall back into like, I hate life. Why did it happen to me? I don't want this pain. I want out of this pain. This is not surrendering. This is not being in divine flow. This is judgment. Or you can say, I trust the process. Here I am experiencing this, taking myself out there. Yeah, I'm not the pain. Pain came to, to teach me something. Suffering is only between your two ears. Because suffering is only created by your mind. There's no suffering. There is only experience and experience. <laughs> so this is the test in the hero's journey, right? So uh, if the hero... It's more, through, yeah, spiritual growth comes through this. Yeah. He's died, gone through his elixir, you know, uh, or killed the, killed the giant or dragon. And now he's come back, but he's still going to be tested, right? And then he still has to face that, you know... This, this, uh, on his way home, can he still remember the wisdom that he had and apply it and integrate it into his life? I guess that's what fermentation, for lack of a better word, I would say integration. <laughs> but you know, why? Why is it fermentation? It sounds like you're really. Uh, that sounds acidic, and you're. I guess you're deteriorating the things that the rest that that's not working right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is uh, a lot of metaphors. Actually, when we go back to old fairy tales and things like that, it's crazy how much actually these metaphors, because stories start unfolding, and all the stories are all about awakening. Mm hmm. Yeah. So now, what they go to distillation. So now, now that yes. I have my 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 trials, and I go, yeah, okay, I'm no longer triggered. I'm still triggered here. Let's go back to step one, burn it all down, go down into disillusion, separate, find God, and go, okay, I'm ready for the next. One. Okay, well now I'm no longer triggered. We're good here, right? Where everyone's happy here. Now we move over to distillation, which is what? Yeah, well, distillation is yeah where there all the impurities are left behind. Yeah, there's like only the purest essence. Is gonna now go to the elixir, and and this is like our our uh, process where we rise above of anything. This is very much of already feeling so much oneness. We are so connected. I'm only uh, experiencing this divine love and compassion to everybody. I'm. I'm just so pure because I'm surrendering only to the pure energy flowing through me. I'm, I'm not here to charge anybody. I'm just there to experience, to play, to support. So I'm, I'm really purified more and more and more. And, and this also this process can take a very uh, different amount of time because actually, like we know, time doesn't exist. Yeah, time is an illusion for our brain to understand that there are some processes going on step by step. But uh, so this, yeah, this is like uh, just an experience in in the time space so <laughs> where the, all the moments are actually now. Distillation seems a lot of kumbaya. Like I'm in a place of gratitude and ready to dance and. I'm 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 a happy as a clam now, right? But fair enough. Just I'm pure playing. To... I'm playing, right? Distillation. I'm purified. All right. And now 
the uh, final stage, which is this warrior cougar looking dude here. What's the seventh stage? This is coagulation, the crown of creation. This is this is the symbolizing the 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 achieving the highest potential. Mm. This is the the culmination of of your your journey of your own life where you are. Well, I think uh, Buddha and Jesus and Confucius and some more really uh, beautiful, beautiful, inspiring guys through the space time <laughs> have have um, there to to show us the light now when we are reading their poetry and their books we we understand wow this is the this is the ultimate oneness where you understand that the whole universe is in you and you totally embrace it that you are well, I don't know what it's. I'm not Buddha yet. <laughs> yeah, but this is when you start reading the Buddha stuff going, I just had an experience here. What the heck going on here? And ah, right. So this is what's going on. Now I understand Confucius. Great. Or Yeah, when the more actually I've I've read Confucius and and, and other really smart guys and, and there are uh in in different stages of my life I have I have understood them differently because now I understand them in such a more and more deeper level. Wow. And, you know, it, it resonates with your whole body. If every cell understands what these, I don't know, two sentences meant. It's, it's amazing how, and, and, and when you're in victim mode in even before the calcination, you're like, I don't know. It sounds gibberish. I don't like it. Yeah, like what's the heck is a chakra, right? And then you start to understand that that starts to open up like, oh, okay, that really is where we store our trauma of of uh, pain and confidence and doubt. And when that thing's opening, our life looks a different way. So yeah, I get, I get it, right? So there's a, uh, how then uh, now coming to your services, what is it that you do correlating to this that bring people through this cycle and can this be done in an hour uh hypnotherapy session yeah well my hypno sessions are um with just the coaching and hypnosis is i don't take shorter usually than two hours i don't never recommend sure. it yeah. because or we journey, right? really I can imagine this each one of these is a hypnotherapy session well, each one of these can be a decade. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, so it's it's different for different people. And I, I actually, well, I do work uh, with a lot of people who understand that the, the victim mode is no longer serving them. It's time to go into the burning process, which is, I like I say, happiness. The true happiness is for correct it means okay i'm ready i just uh, recently got contacted by a guy who said i think i'm ready i don't know he just found me somewhere and i don't know what he was referring to but uh, he knows my message and he was like i think i'm ready ready to go out of this loop get out of this loop that we are like constantly you know experiencing the same thing maybe a little bit different source but the junk it's always the same. The ingredients are the same. Awesome. And so that yeah. sick, that sick, vicious cycle that people find them in is what I observe in the fingerprints and the hands is it called a life pattern. Uh, you're able to break them through that and create this alchemic process, or at least get them started, and yeah, get them at least in, in one stage or the other. Yeah, it, it's actually, I'm, I'm not here to charge anyway. Everybody is in their different stages. What, what we just see, that we want to see clearly. Our view is very distorted by all the stories and, and the, the, you know, whatever we're carrying with we, our experiences and, and the suppressed anger and the suppressed emotions. So we, we step by step 
uh, start going out of this mode where we are in survival. We want to everything to be under control and how we can see the world in a different, start questioning things, start seeing what if it's totally different than what I thought, you know, and start letting this go. What if it doesn't have to be under my control? And and then we move into more love where where we just let things be, trust. And then we, of course, what my uh, first step is, I want people to connect with their inner strength because every time we get triggered by something or is it old story or a, a new one, it's always we go out of center because we fall into the illusion in the mat in the matrix where you know this Mr. Anderson and stuff <laughs> figure it right? and we're like okay I'm coming to my center so this is uh, usually our first when uh, our session goes usually the way it goes it's we the first hypnosis will be I'm gonna come to my center I'm gonna connect with myself. I'm not there, I'm not there, I'm not in the future, I'm not in the past, I'm not worrying about stuff, I'm here. The present moment is where the power is, always. And that's yeah. in any of these seven processes or is this uh, when you start the process? Just when you start the process? It It depends, I mean, this is, a symbolistic story of what we go through, but for different people, it's different. It might be that for some people, I start the calcination process because I say, you see, the whatever you've done in your life so far have brought you more uh, suffering. So when is the time that you say, okay, I want to get rid of the suffering. What do I have to do? And this is the first thing you get, bam, because your illusion has to break somehow. Whatever it is, for some it's relationships, for some it's career, you know, you, you get fired or, or you, I don't know, or somebody you love dies or, I mean, it's, it's so different for different people. And, and then, and even it doesn't have to be so dramatic because for some people, it only is like, well, here you are. Do you want to evolve? For me, the biggest process was probably I was really close to burnout at, at my career. And, and I was like, I felt trapped. I was like, I want to do the best things, but I'm just, you know, going crazy with all that. And, and it, it wasn't, nobody had to die for me. And, and I understood well, I got to do something about these emotions and this stress level and what is it? So I started reading books and then, ooh, this magical unfolding, the teachers that I've met in my life and, and the courses that I took and it's it's a process. Great. What do you think uh, distinguishes you from uh, other people in this field of hypnotherapy? Clearly, I have an answer, uh, answer, but I want to hear from you. What is your niche? What do you think that you uh, uh, seem to have a remarkable gift for? Well, I see myself that I'm uh, a playful. And I love this about myself, that I can be playful because I'm not taking anything seriously. And this is actually a golden key to... I, I'm, I mean, I'm responsible. I can take responsible. I'm not in a child's energy where like everything is like, I don't know. I'm just this here, you know. I know very much how to run a business, to take responsibility. But what I do know is that people take life way too seriously. And like this famous saying mm. goes, uh, life, uh, people suffer because they're taking seriously the things God's made for fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is the attachment you know people are so attached oh i got my reputation i got my career i got my family my mortgage my this and that and they're like i am this name i am this uh, roles and they are so attached into the human experience they forget who they are i'm just flying through the space time and playing with all the stardust that i have and this is how we can start coming out 
from the seriousness into letting this beautiful life unfold through us. And I love when people have like, their, their eyes start to like shine, like, oh my goodness, why I was worried so much before. It doesn't matter. I trust. I let it go. I know, know it's going to be all right. It's always going to be all right because we are so loved. This is a remarkable attitude anyway for any human being to share with other people and just being with you and mirroring with my mirror neurons, you uh, absolutely feel it. Absolutely. Thank you so, so much. It's been absolutely phenomenal conversation. And uh, how do they, how do people contact you? What's yes, the, one alchemist. Say yeah. again, please. My website. Yeah, my website, onealchemist.com is where you can book your discovery call with me. And I'm glad to connect in LinkedIn and Instagram there. I'm most active and playful. I play there a lot. So. Fantastic. You have a nice when I meet. met When I met you over in Estonia, uh, we I was like glommed on to you outside for, I don't know, at least an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, we, we just like, there's so much uh, clarity that uh, I was getting out of you just talking with you and then being able to uh, develop uh, my wisdom. So uh, you are absolutely a force of nature. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mwah! <laughs>